And we start with breaking news tonight. That is good news for people who cross the border. Good evening. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. We have just found out that some Customs and Border Patrol officers who were sent south are coming back here to Western New York. Uh, Michael Wooten has been following this story for literally months now. And Michael, what actually is going to be happening now? Yes, Scott Mary Alice, we know that the wait times have been longer than normal at our bridges. It's because some CBP officers were shifted from here and elsewhere across the northern border down to the south to help with the ongoing humanitarian crisis there. Well, we believe we're the first in the country to report this news that the number of officers transferred is dropping by quite a bit. So a CBP official tells two on your side uh, that there are now 400 officers total transferred to the southwest border. That's down from 731 officers before. So here are the numbers for you. Uh, we don't have specific numbers just for the Buffalo area, but the CBP official told me that we will feel the impact of this reduction as officers return here to western New York and other northern ports of entry airports and seaports. Now last week we did a special report on the longer wait times and talked with the supervisory CBP officer here in Buffalo. What do you say to people who say don't punish us for what's happening at the southern border? We don't want our border wait times to get longer. Well, we're a we're a country. We have lots of borders. You get a long one on the southern border, you get a long one on the northern border, you have airports and seaports. Um, we're responsible for securing all that. And where the need is is where we're going to put the focus on that. What has been difficult to get exact numbers from CBP as far as how many officers have been transferred. We've tried to do that for weeks now, but again, the breaking news here. We now do have some numbers, hundreds fewer officers at the southern border now compared to prior weeks that is expected to help with delays. We don't know how significant it will increase. Uh, or decrease the delays, but something we'll continue to follow. By the way, we're working on a special report with Customs and Border Protection. Uh, we went behind the scenes at the Peace Bridge to go in depth on the inspections, a huge uptick in drug seizures here locally, and a lot more. That's coming up tomorrow at 6 o'clock here on Channel 2. Scott Mary Alice. All right, Michael, thank you very much.